Funny Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Tuesday, June 18th. A little mix of clouds and sun today. We had more rain last night, but right now the track condition appears to be an excellent condition. Probably start good. We might go to fast before long. Let's take a look at races 7 and 8 this afternoon. The 7th race is 6 furlong starter race. Now the program likes number 1 Ark in the Dark, who comes out for trainer Harry Winder with jockey Novin Mangaly. But I'm going to take a long shot chance here. I don't think you're going to get 12 to 1 on the four horse Fix Me a Sandwich, but that's the morning line price. Leading trader Joe Taylor sending out Fix Me a Sandwich. Frankie Pennington will get the nod here uh, for the riding assignment. It was a $20,000 claim back in February by Joe. And then after taking about two months off after a start in February, came back uh, two starts after that to win a convincing starter optional claimer for $40,000. And then the next couple of starts was in against the very tough Bethlehem Road, an unbeaten call down of the D. Curry Barn. And after running second and third in those two races, the uh, third place finish was in our Park Spring Derby here. It was overmatched in a stake race at Monmouth Park and comes back to a much more reasonable sp spot here this afternoon. And Fix Me a Sandwich has shown the ability to uh, get to the front and not give it up, and I think has an opportunity to do so today here in race number seven. Again, I don't think you're going to get 12 to 1, but you might get a decent price here. Let's try our leading trainer in the seventh race and go with number four, Fix Me a Sandwich. Another interesting horse to take a look at in the eighth race of first level allowance here at six furlongs. The program likes number four, Spirit Special, coming out for trainer Kate DeMassey. Now, after coming off a layoff, ran the biggest number of his career last time out. And I have to wonder whether the horse is going to be eligible to bounce off an effort like that. So I'm going to take a pass on a Spirit Special. Also is a horse that tends to do his best running from well off the pace. The second choice, number one, Camgo, coming in for trader George Navarro. Is certainly a contender here with Frankie Pennington on board, but he just has the look of one of those horses that's probably going to get over bet. So I'm going to take a pass on those two and try the outside horse here, number eight, My Pirate. Now, despite stepping up in class here... Now, my Pirate is a 5-1 to morning line horse for trainer Miguel Penaloza. His uh, jockey, Anthony Nunez, who has been aboard recently, will be back aboard this afternoon. Now, again, going from a 12-5 to an A other than, so a little bit of a step up in class today. But he has the look of an improving 4-year-old, was a $7,500 claim back in the middle portion of March. Took a couple of races to start to figure it out, but the last three races have been the best races of his life. And I think drawing that outside post might be to his advantage today. There's not a whole lot of other early speed to the inside of him. And I think he has an opportunity to sit a great outside trip here today. Ran one of the best races of his life coming from just off it last time out in that 12-5 race. And put up a number that would certainly make him competitive in here today. And again, with some other horses that might attract some wagering attention, you might get some value in the eighth race. Let's make it go with number eight, My Pirate. Good luck.